Hi, welcome to another video. My name is Hannah. I'm a beauty and fashion photographer living and working in Los Angeles. Today I'm going to be introducing you to my Instagram and talking through the different lighting setups I use, lenses and cameras and other techniques that I use to get the shot. So let's get started. As you can see, this is my Instagram page. I also have a still life page and a mood board page and a personal page. And then I have my email typed out here because it's good for clients to be able to copy and paste your email address. And then I also have my website link here. I have a bunch of stories at the top. It's a bit of a mess and I do need to clean it up but I like to try and do a lot of Instagram stories as it's really good for engagement and I like to keep them saved as it's just really nice to have the memories. You know, I can go back to, for example, summer 19 and I can see what I was doing then. I started doing them pretty soon after the stories feature came about and it's really good to not only just post your work in your stories, but post behind the scenes, post any travel or editing and things that are coming soon and to really boost your Instagram engagement. So here you can see my Instagram and my layout changes. I like to go through different sort of color schemes and stuff like that. Um, I started doing a lot of these, you know, nine photos at once type shots and I think they look pretty cool. I do a lot of stuff in pools with water. I do a lot of beauty. This is one of my favorite shots here. It's a macro shot with flash. And I really love this color palette here. It just makes me so happy. I don't even know how to describe it, but I love really focusing on color palettes and making sure my Instagram just looks, you know, as good as possible. And then I'm going to zoom a bit further out so you can kind of see how the color palette works. I'm sort of in this bit, I'm primarily using reds, pinks and uh, blues and then obviously black and white. This shot was when I was shooting with gels. As you can see, the whole room went red, which is one of the most incredible things about shooting with gels. It's always super fun. It looks pretty cool in a behind the scenes photo. And then here is more of a neutral color palette. This image, for example, I shot just with natural light um, in my hotel room. It was around five or 6 p.m. I think the sun was going down and that light in LA was just so beautiful. Here I'm going obviously for some more neutral tones. This is a behind the scenes of <laughs> the end of the day shooting as you can see the cove has got super dirty from footprints and there's wires everywhere but we we're all just clearing up and I thought it looked pretty cool so I took a photo here is a shot I did for my friend's album cover um, it's shot in studio we used a red backdrop here is a shot I took in for a magazine in the woods and we really just played around with the wind and uh, this red fabric and it just looks so, so epic. I love that shot. Here's an Adidas campaign I did. This is all just natural light shot in London. It's so funny because he had a broken arm so he couldn't get his shirt on, but somehow he managed to sort of style it in a way that you couldn't really tell. <laughs> and his arm isn't even through the sleeve in that shot. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and this color palette again going from reds and neutrals and greens. This shot was shot in this beautiful location house with a pool. This is a campaign I did for this amazing clean beauty brand called Say. I love that campaign. That was all shot with. I think that's pretty much all natural light. This I shot again at golden hour. I think it was just before golden hour actually, but the light was beautiful. And as you can see in some of the shots, I sort of did a purposeful blur. And um, I just, 
I was using a 100 millimeter lens and literally just natural light. I think that's it. I might have used a tiny reflector. And then this shot I really love. Um, we just used a blue background, like a, literally I just used a sheet of A1 paper, like card, and put her in front of it. And we just used the natural light in London. London is very cloudy and the light isn't great, but as you can see, because her skin was super wet, um, she just looks so glowy and beautiful. And I don't know, I just, I'm obsessed with those images. So you can see here, uh, my mood board is sort of going more into pink. I love this shot, um, definitely one of my favourites. This girl has the coolest smile, the coolest laugh, and um, yeah, I just absolutely love this shot. Again, natural light, 100mm lens. Uh, I don't think I even used a reflector in that one. And then, yeah, just going back through the last few months, this I shot in a hotel room with blinds in Los Angeles. Um, literally, I just put her in the room behind the blinds and the light, as you can see, just looks so beautiful on her face. This was a campaign for Mars Cosmetics. We did that in studio and we had all these incredible wildflowers. It was so beautiful. Here's a bit more work. You can see scrolling down. Now, this is a really cool shot because I used literally again golden hour lighting, but I made the aperture higher and I made the shutter speed like six or something really low. And I just told her to move around and I also moved the camera around. And when you've got especially sparkly makeup, it glows so amazingly, as you can see here. Um, so it just gives a nice blurry, glowy effect. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is lower the shutter speed and play around with it. This I shot with um, on-camera flash, like the hot shoe flash. This is so funny because I shot this in a paddling pool. Um, so I got a paddling pool on my balcony in London and I got this beautiful green fabric and I put it in the bottom of the paddling pool. And then the model just sort of laid in, her feet were out, but then her like body was in and her knees were just sort of up out of the edge of the paddling pool. Um, but we just filled it with shallow water and sort of swished it around and the soft, natural, cloudy daylight of London. I don't know, I just, I'm so obsessed with this shot and the shoot I did in general. Here's an example of a blow, uh, glowy, blurry effect, but in studio. Again, this is for my um, friend's album cover, but I think it's just such a cool shot, you know, and again, you just bring the aperture up and you bring the shutter speed way down and you just play around with it and you can get some really cool images. This, these two I both did again, just with natural light. I think natural light is our biggest friend. I think a lot of people think it would take more. This was shot in the studio. This was a campaign for amazing clean skincare brand new to the people that was shot in the studio with just one big light source an octa and then this again was all golden hour light this shot i love again i just did out of focus on purpose and especially when you've got the sun on the lip gloss it just gave that really cool effect and it's not for everyone but i just i just love that effect and then this shot is, was done with the on-camera hot shoe flash, but again, a lower shutter speed and a higher aperture. You can see it's not as uh, blurry as the other shots, but you can still kind of see that there's a bit of movement and a bit of glow going on. And that's the best way to get that type of shot. I love these three. Uh, they're more high fashion than the sort of things I normally do. We were like inspired by an amazing makeup look in the 80s and we kind of tried to do our own version of that. The makeup artist is so incredible. I love that shoot. This is probably one of my favorite shots ever. Um, she was inside, so we had golden hour light but the sun just wasn't directly on her skin. She was sat a bit further back from the 
actual sun, but you could still see that glow of the golden hour on her without the sun being hard on her face. And I just absolutely love that shot. This shot I am just obsessed with, and it's one of the most likes I've ever had on an image. Um, I just shot it in my apartment in London, just a white background. I sat a backdrop a, about two meters back from the window, and this was just all natural light. All natural light. It looks cool in black and white. Here's a bit more of my work here. This shot, for example, was done, that was actually done in my apartment in LA. And she's just a friend of mine. And we had the window on one side of her on the right, as you can see. And it was just a beautiful soft light that came over the image. And I shot that on my 2470 lens. So yeah, just all natural light. This is a campaign I shot for this amazing, again, clean beauty brand, Cosas Cosmetics. And this was in Sephora. I was super, super hyped. We shot this in studio. And um, that's, you know, it was a big lighting setup. But this is an amazing digital billboard that um, went up of this image that I shot of this incredible uh, singer called Her. Uh, she's the most incredible musician and if you haven't heard her music you need to she is so talented and yeah I was blown away that was literally exhibited like a mile away from my house in LA I was um I was so happy when I saw that and then this again just natural light I think this was shot probably around 2 or 3 p.m I try to use a really shallow depth of field a lot of the time in beauty I think it gives this really nice um, effect here. It's not for everyone, but I love it and my clients always want me to do it. And so the eye you can see is sort of perfectly in focus, but the nose and the mouth are slightly out of focus. But I love that effect. This was shot, literally the sun was just going down, as you can see, um, probably around, you know, 6 or 7 p.m. This is a campaign, more than one I shot for you for the people. I absolutely love that shoot. And then that's a shoot I shot in this pool. And then this shot I did, it was for a perfume brand. And we used gels. And what we did was we had one gel. We had two lights and we had one with a gel on the background, one on the foreground. This one, we just use one gel for the whole shot. And the same um, for this one. But then on this shot, again, we had red on the front, purple on the background. But then as you can see, the purple's kind of glowing through as it's bouncing off the background. This I shot through a window. And as you can see, there's a bit of glare um, coming through from the window um, and I also really like to push the freckles on Photoshop so that they show up um, you know really well because sometimes when you edit black and white the freckles just disappear I like to make sure you can see them because I think they're beautiful I love all of these I shot this again in my London apartment just a couple of meters back from the window just had a, back, a white background up and um, yeah, just all natural light. And then here I posting a few more black and whites. Again, this was done in the window. This is a billboard that I had, which is, I think it's one of my first billboards. I think I've only ever had like four before, but there were actually like five different billboards. Um, I didn't get pictures of some of them, but yeah, that was so cool driving around LA, seeing my work on a billboard, it just blew my mind. It was amazing. And then I love this shot again. Mm -hmm. This was shot with the same setup as the other shot of this girl. Um, you know, golden hour, but she was set a bit further back from the window. As you can see, I'm really obsessed with my color palettes and trying to keep everything flowing. This, the girl, was actually pressed up against the window, and I think it just gave a really cool effect on her cheek. And as you can see, her breath kind of shows on the window, but all my clients love that shot. And that was just us sort of playing around and stuff with the window. But sometimes you just have to get creative and um, get some really cool shots. 
Now this shot, it's really funny because this was shot in London um, and you'd think it was in LA because of the glowiness, but we had a really beautiful sunny day and the sun was just setting and we just had that perfect golden hour light. As you can see, you can tell it was late in the day because there's no shadow under the eye, really. And there's no shadow under the nose. You can tell the light's pretty direct, which is what happens later on in the day. I love this shot. These shots are one of the, my favorites, if not my favorite ever. This is shot in LA, but it was on a cloudy winter day and we were in the shadow, we weren't in the sun. And yeah, I mean, the makeup's incredible. The makeup artist Zara was amazing. And I just, I can't deal with these shots. I just absolutely love them. This shot was done in New York, um, probably around 3 p.m. And as you can see, the light is still pretty high, but it's, it's not too high, it's kind of nice. And I got pretty low to take this shot. I think I was on the floor. But I really like trying to experiment with different angles when I'm shooting. As you can see, the light still looks very beautiful on her face, but she's having to have her face um, facing up a bit more towards the sky so that the shadows, you know, aren't crazy on her face. If she had had her chin more down, the shadows would have um, just gone a bit crazy. This was shot in the paddling pool again. Um, the full shoe of this is coming up, but I love this shot. I it's just a, it's just a, you know, a neck, but I don't know, just really loved it. And then this shot, again, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of obsessed with water, I think. Um, but yeah, we just used a spray bottle to spray her neck with water. And I think it just, it looks really cool. These two were both shot with the on-camera flash, the hot shoe flash. I had a hotel room, but it was super small. So we, and I didn't have any light, so we just used the flash. This was shot in a different hotel room. This was in LA. And um, just, I mean, the light was just so beautiful. They're very raw shots and they're kind of blurry because it was kind of dark, but I just couldn't deal, like the light from the window was just so beautiful. And I just felt like the model kind of worked with that raw lighting look. This shot, we just covered our hands in glitter. And again, I think golden hours just is the best hour to shoot. I think it was around 5, 6 p.m. And the light was just coming in from the window perfectly. That's me. <laughs> I'm always hiding behind something. And then this shot, basically the makeup artist had a palette with a smashed mirror. And it was a really small, but somehow the shot still worked. So I kind of love that shot. Broken mirrors and, you know, just, just using different props and stuff was really fun. This shot I did by just lighting the background with the gel, but then not lighting the model. So she was more of a silhouette, but it looks really moody. And I think it's a cool thing to try out for sure. This shot, um, she had a photo picture frame piece of glass and we just played around with it as you can see the shadow from the picture frame there you can see she's kissed it there um and i i just love playing around with glass and uh mirrors and stuff like that here's some more of my work again i just love natural light pretty much all of it is natural light um, unless it's a campaign, it's pretty much all natural light. I just love to play with it. I feel like there's so much you can do. Here I'm going into my color palettes of blues and reds. This shot was so fun. We just poured a load of pigment, um, well the makeup artist poured pigment on her face. And we just did some cute shots that look really cool. Now, this is one of my favorite shoots ever. Again, we used the paddling pool, um, but on a different day. And we, obviously, fresh water and everything, we cleaned it. And um, we put a black sheet in the bottom of the swimming pool. And I just think it looks so dramatic and so cool. 
uh, if you don't have access to a swimming pool, I just feel like you can do a lot with a paddling pool, especially if you're just doing beauty. It's a bit of a faff, but great to do. This was really fun. My boyfriend is a set designer, so he built this set and painted it all crazy with the white. And then we used um, a mask to put on the model, like a face mask. We didn't use paint on her, obviously. And just try to make it look like she was sort of in the painting. Um, but I love this shoot so much. It was so fun. We only had a couple of hours and we didn't have much styling. I wish we had more, um, but I didn't want to get all the clothes covered in paint. So, um, yeah, but I do really love that shot. I shoot a lot. I try and do personal shots whenever I can. So my Instagram has so much work on it. This is another billboard I had. This is one of my first billboards. I think this is like my third ever billboard. And um, yeah, I love it. Again, it was the singer called Her, who was absolutely phenomenal. This was a campaign for Summer Fridays, which is a really amazing skincare brand. And they do face masks and stuff. And I am obsessed with all their products, but especially the jet lag mask. I use it all the time. All the time. It's like one of the only creams I can really use on my eyes. And yeah, that shoot was incredible. This shot and this shot were just done in, again, natural light, but soft light. I think I might have put a reflector below. Yeah, I think I used a reflector below the face in those shots. So I had an assistant standing off to the side, just holding the reflector. This was done in my friend's apartment, just with that beautiful, again, the golden hour light coming through. These shots I love. They're just black and white, but I think they're pretty cool. This shot was pretty fun. I just shot this through a glass. Um, and it's kind of edgy, but I kind of like it. It was kind of fun to shoot. Just natural light again. This was shot in Chicago. I went there January 2019. And it was so cold. <laughs> it was like snowing and stuff. It was so, so cold, but it was amazing. And... This I just used a shallow depth of field and tried to put her like in the middle of the road, but there was like a, a walkway in the middle of the road, so it was safe. And then this was outside the obviously Chicago theater in Chicago. You can see all the snow on the floor. It was super cold, but I really, really enjoyed that shoot. And then this shot was done in the woods. Uh, we had one of those, um, those smoke bomb things, like the art director had one of those. Well, we had a few of them. And um, yeah, obviously you need to get permission to do all these things. Um, but that was incredible, it looked really cool. And yeah, so this is more of my work. This, again, that's from the same day in the woods. We are playing with the red fabric that I think you saw earlier. And, yeah, I mean, the model's incredible. And the forest was incredible. Again, all lit with natural light. I used my 2470 lens. Also, my main camera is a Canon 5D Mark III. So that's what I use for pretty much all of this work. If it's a campaign, then I usually rent a Mark IV and then sort of claim that back with the costs. But in general, um, all this work is shot with my Mark III. So yeah, I think that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned a bit more about my work. If you have any more questions, or you have any more photos you want me to explain, let me know in the comments below. Bye.